What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Madden 19. Today I have the first episode of our Madden 19 career mode series. Now this is a series that if you guys have known um, or have been a fan of my channel for a while, I have tried to do them in Madden 16, 17, and 18 and uh, they just didn't work out. I don't know why. It wasn't that I wasn't into them or anything. It was just that uh, the videos didn't come out that great. I kind of fucked up with my Madden 18 one really bad. Like half of the games didn't even have game volume so... I don't know, man. I've had bad luck with career mode. I've had bad luck with franchise in general, mainly because I just was really never able to get into it. But this year, this year feels a little bit different. You know, I told people in the stream, I was kind of being a little bit harsh uh, in yesterday's stream because, um, well, I was pretty mad. I got to be honest. I'm not sure when I'm posting this, but one of the streams I was talking about franchise and I was losing. I was mad and people, you know, were asking me, you know, do a franchise, do a franchise. It'd be really cool. And I'm like, I don't know, dude, franchise kind of sucks. And I kind of went off. But you know what? franchise is respectable it's just they don't really do anything new to it you know it's kind of the same thing as it was in my opinion i mean even with the changes they made this year they're honestly very minuscule i mean if you really think about it i mean i can't really think of anything huge other than the archetype upgrade system that's really it um and that's not really even that big i mean the only thing that really makes a difference there is that you're getting upgrades to random stats you don't know what you're getting upgraded but you're still upgrading a certain you know set of attributes so you know what kind of idea you got um, but anyway, man, you know, kind of getting past that, getting past why I'm actually doing this in the first place, I want to actually, like, make this a series where it goes from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, and I think it makes sense doing it with the Miami Dolphins. Now, the Dolphins are a team that is full of aging veterans, or their best players were aging veterans. I believe it was Josh Sitton, um, Rashad Jones, uh, Danny Amendola as well as, like, their number one receiver right now. I really don't like that you can't mess around with the depth chart, um for wide receivers or tight ends mainly you know when, when you're a quarterback you would think that they'd have some sort of system for that so they can set up your own wide receiving core but of course they don't so Danny Amendola is our number one Kenny Stills is our number two Devontae Parker is our number three Devontae Parker obviously is the big one out of those three I think I mean him and Kenny Stills are, are younger but Devontae Parker um got speed he's 6'3 you know could be really good um, but the Dolphins, really the main reason I went with them was because of the quarterback. And, you know, Ryan Tannehill, I thought kind of a believable little storyline I could make up is that, you know, Danger Russ came in as a 66 overall undrafted strong arm QB with, you know, pretty shitty stats, but not that great. Comes in, beats out Ryan Tannehill, beats out the guy that just tore his ACL and is 30 years old and just kind of puts him aside. And Ryan Tannehill becomes our backup. So I think that's kind of a cool little storyline I guess I don't know I just wanted something that would make somewhat you know make some kind of sense I think that does man the Dolphins um, are an interesting team I have really no personal opinion on the Dolphins I nothing the Dolphins I really you know if they do good okay if they do bad okay um, so you know I really don't have any personal thing with this team so it'll be cool like as this series goes along if you know I'll start to you know know some of these players in the NFL or something or become fans of them in the NFL or something like that that does come into my decision making you know when I'm thinking of picking a team or something like that um, you know just some of the players that we'd actually know and like I don't know I figured since we're doing a career mode I'm not focusing on the team I'm focusing on our player anyway so any player that makes plays is somebody I have no idea who it is like this guy Mike Kosicki, guy's a rookie I have no idea who he is he has an amazing name I like him and he makes a lot of plays in this game but you guys can see, you know, um, or like I said, we did make a strong arm undrafted QB. I kind of just, I kind of went past that. But you guys saw by our overall, you saw our stats, all that type of stuff. So um, undrafted, strong arm. I think we're 6-1. I made him built after me, honestly. I tried to make him look like, you know, what my version of me in the NFL would be. And th that's what I thought it was. I think it looks it looks like me. I got the shooter sleeve. I would, I would never wear a shooter sleeve. I just thought it looked kind of cool. Um, but we end up throwing our first interception. You know, you guys can see on the little replay right there. I, that was just... Not a great read. I thought I could fit it in there, but it just looked like Kevin Byard was too fast for AJ Derby. AJ Derby is one player that I do know about or I'm familiar with. I've heard his name before, so you know when I saw him, I was like, oh okay. I mean, I know he's fast or decently fast, but him and Gesicki, young, fast, good. I, I like both those guys at tight end. And then, uh, you know, later in this game, just wide receivers started freeing up. Kenny Stills, Devonte Parker. You know, he's getting into it finally. Six for ten, 88 yards. I think Devonte has a couple catches by now. Um, but right there, we could have gone to Am Amendola really quickly, and I guess I just missed it. And we try to roll out, man. It's not going to work. It's not going to work with Danger Russ. 65 speed, It's it, we're just not going to be able to run. Hopefully later we'll be able to get our speed to somewhat respectable, maybe 70s somewhere. But um, I didn't want to just use a mobile QB because we all, I mean, everybody chooses mobile QBs, man. And plus, I wanted to do a, a pocket passer mainly just because I, I usually always use 
uh, mobile quarterbacks anyway, so I wanted a nice little change of pace. And plus, I'm not that fast in real life, so it kind of made sense. I don't really have that strong of an arm either, so I guess a strong arm doesn't really make sense. But if I'm, if I'm basing this off myself, I guess this is technically probably the best player um, build I could, I could have made. So you guys can see in this game, 3 nothing. Not It's not very good so far, but you guys can see we're moving. We're moving at the end of the half, 30 seconds left. Then we get sacked. You know, we hit our tight ends for a couple of good plays, and then, you know, we get sacked. We're out of field goal range now. 24 seconds left. You know, we're just looking for something. We're trying to find somebody. And right here, our O-line holds up. I mean, that was beautiful. Our O-line held up. I mean, that was a huge blitz. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. Our O-line held, and they did a great, great, great job. I mean, held in the good way, of course. Um, but Devontae Parker ends up freeing up on that slant. I mean, it was... Probably a 50-yard slam, but he frees up, he gets it, and then Danny Amendola ends up making everything worth it with a nice little... That didn't make any sense. I guess it makes it worth it. Fuck it, man. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. But Danny Amendola ends up getting us our first career touchdown, man. I mean, that's that's who we throw it to is Danny Amendola. The guy was kind of shitting on at the beginning. At the beginning of the episode, makes two catches back-to-back, -back, actually, in this video. Um, but Danny Amendola gets our first NFL touchdown, so that's pretty cool. Three receptions for 54 yards for him. Kenyon Drake in the backfield. Our running backs won't do shit. I'm just letting you guys know that now. They won't. Um, probably won't give it to them that much. Rarely ever. I really just don't care to give the running back the ball because it's focusing on us. I mean, come on. And plus, I don't want to play like eight-minute quarters, so I'm playing five. I mean, I'm just not going to give Kenyon Drake 15, 20 carries every game. If he ends up getting five to ten, cool. If he ends up getting 11 to 15, then that's probably because we're clocking. But I think my goal is probably get him five touches a game. So nothing crazy, but you know whatever at least still get him something but our running back will definitely not be a main focus is right there kenny stills kenny stills wow i fucked that up kenny stills ends up getting us our second career passing touchdown and at this point man i mean we're just winning our defense is locking the hell up i mean the titans have not done anything this entire game this is kind of the intro to the series and it makes sense because this was a blowout i mean this was ridiculous man we weren't even really doing anything great i mean i think gesicki just got into the end zone for another touchdown 26 to nothing ends up being the final i mean it was we just cruised it was ridiculous our first season game our first game well straight up is uh it's just a blowout man 26 to nothing over the tennessee titans i mean a hell of a game we did really good i think we did really really solid um i do think that we can do a lot better we did get sacked a bunch but that's gonna happen um, but like i said i do think we can do a lot better there was a lot of reads that i missed um especially to Devonte parker i think Early in the game, I was kind of looking at uh, Kenny Stills more and more. I don't know why. I think it's because he's at the number two. And I usually always look at the number two the most. Like I'm saying, I wish you could change it, but you can't. So um, Devontae Parker ended up getting missed a couple times. But I think as we go along in the series, I'll make better reads. Um, and, you know, I'll get used to these players, hopefully, you know, depending on if they re-sign them or let them go in later seasons. But anyway, man, that's going to be it for this first episode of Career Mode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys can check out the stats if you want. And as always, I'm out. Peace.